Hi, and welcome to our decimals on a number line and money flipped video. Make sure you have your recording sheet ready so that you can pause and record what you need to and you can rewatch this video as many times as you need to. Remember, the point of this video is not to master what's in the video, but the point of the video is to be introduced to it so that next week whenever you come in, you don't look at your teacher and go, huh? You can actually say, hey, I kind of remember that from the flip video. So this is a pre-teaching. We're teaching you what we're going to be learning next week so that whenever you come in, we're ready to go. So I'm ready to go with this video. There isn't any vocabulary on this video because we're still covering decimals and we're covering um, number lines. Okay, so whenever we see a number line like this, first of all, I need to see what it's counting by. I don't count from the number zero. I start right here with the number, um, this first line right here. And then I do go all the way to this number here. Now, when we're dealing with decimals, it's either going to be tenths or hundredths. That's it. That's what the awesome part about decimals is. So there's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. So there's ten slashes from this first one to the number one. You do include the number one, you do not include the number zero. So if there's 10, that means that it's counting by tenths. See how 10 and tenths sound the same? So this is going to be one tenth, this is gonna be two tenths, three tenths, four tenths, five tenths, six tenths, seven tenths, eight tenths, nine tenths, and this is gonna be 10 tenths, which is one whole. I like to fill in my number line before I even look at this. The reason I like to fill it in is so that I know where my numbers might go. So once I have it filled in, I know that six tenths is right here. I know that nine tenths is right here, and I know four tenths is right there. That's how easy it is whenever you figure out what your number line is counting by, fill it in, and then place your numbers on that number line. Okay, this is a mystery one. I'm going to see what this is counting by again. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. So there's 10 dash marks or slashes or points on the number line. So I know that it's probably going to be counting by tenths. One tenth, two tenths. 3 tenths, 4 tenths, 5 tenths, 6 tenths, 7 tenths, 8 tenths, 9 tenths, 10 tenths means the whole square is filled in and that's one whole. So what decimal would go on this point? Well, it's going to be 4 tenths. Let's look at this one. Oh, this one's tricky. Okay, 1, 2, 3, 4. 4. Well, there's really no decimals that are fourths or anything like that. But I know that if I have one dollar, there's four quarters in one dollar. Well, if I put 25 hundredths, 50 hundredths, 75 hundredths, a dollar. 25 cents, 50 cents, 75 cents. Look at that. It's like counting by money on this number line. There's my 50, there's my 75, there's my 25. That's pretty awesome. Now I'm gonna teach you something, and this is a little bit advanced, but I'm just gonna tell you about this right now, and we'll talk about it more later. 25 hundredths, that's the same as one out of four quarters. 50 hundredths is the same out of, as two out of four quarters. 75 hundredths is the same as three out of four quarters. So one fourth is the same as 25 hundredths. Two-fourths is the same as 50 hundredths or 50 cents. Three-fourths is the same as 75 hundredths. And then this has got to be four-fourths or one dollar or one whole. That's pretty awesome whenever you start thinking about it like money. Okay, we'll talk about this a little bit more later, but I just wanted to introduce you to it because we do talk about it a lot in fourth grade. Okay, now, whoa. There's lots of dashes on this number line. There's lots of points. Okay, this is getting crazy right here, but I think I can work this out. When you see something like this and you have two whole numbers, you count till you get to the, four, the first whole number, then you count again till you get to the second whole number. So let's start. 
One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Okay, that's awesome. Remember, you don't start with the zero, you start with the point next to the zero. So I know that that's one tenth, two tenths, three tenths, four tenths, five tenths, six tenths, seven tenths, eight tenths, nine tenths, ten tenths, or one whole, which is here. Then this is going to be one whole and one tenth one whole and two tenths, one whole and three tenths, one whole and four tenths, one whole and five, one whole and six tenths, one whole and seven tenths, one whole and eight tenths, one whole and nine tenths, and two wholes. Okay, now I can figure out where my numbers are gonna go once I fill it in. One whole and six tenths is right here on my number line. One whole and nine tenths is right here and one whole and four tenths is right there. Awesome, that worked out great. So make sure you are filling in your number line before you start placing things on your number line to make sure that you don't miscount. Okay, let's talk about my favorite thing, how decimals and money relate to each other. We know that this is 72 hundredths. I also know that it's 72 cents. So I'm gonna start counting this is kind of where compatible numbers come into play. I'm going to start counting by 25 because 25 is a compatible number because I know I can count quarters um, because I count money all the time. So 25, that's 50. I don't need another quarter because that's going to be too much. So 25, 50, 60, 70, 1, 2. So start with the bigger numbers and then work your way down to the smaller ones. Okay, $1.37. So I'm going to go with $1, 25, 35, 36, 37. So that's $1.37. Or one whole and 37 hundredths. This is 72 cents or 72 hundredths of a dollar. This is one whole dollar and 37 hundredths of a dollar, one dollar and 37 cents, 72 cents, or 72 hundredths of a dollar. Okay, let's look at this one. How can you represent each amount of money as a decimal? Well, I have, I'm going to start with my biggest one first, 25, 35, 45, 46, 47, 48. So this is going to be 48 hundredths or 48 cents. One, two, I have two dollars, fifty, fifty-one, fifty-two. Two dollars and fifty-two cents, or two holes and fifty-two hundredths. Please watch this video as many times as you need to, and you can go back and rewind as much as you need to, and you can fill in your recording sheet and make sure that you do um, your whole homework and turn it in. And if you have any questions, you can ask any teacher that you need to. Have an awesome evening.